Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to import, texture and render Pokemon models in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step in this tutorial is to go to modelsresource.com, where you can select between hundreds of Pokemons. So let's start off by selecting Pokemon number 3, and then click Download Zip Archive. And then you just need to unzip the um, zip file. In Windows, you do it by uh, clicking Show in Folder, and then right-clicking, and then extracting the file. On Mac, you can just uh, select the zip file, and it will automatically unzip the file. And when the uh, file is unzipped, you will get a folder with a .dae file, which we can import into Blender later on. Okay, so let's uh, download a uh, second Pokemon. So I'll download number 65 and then download zip archive and then once again show in folder and then ex extract the uh, file and then let's uh, select one more Pokemon before we go into Blender and start importing the files so uh, 117 and then extract the file okay so let's go to Blender and then uh, start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycle Render for better shading. And then click X to delete the default cube. And then click File. And then go down to Import. And then select the .dae type. And now the next step is to find the folder where we saved the uh, Pokemon file. So I saved it in Downloads. Then select the folder. And uh, then I'll select the uh, DAE file at the bottom, which is the largest Pokemon of the type. And then click R, X, then minus 90 to rotate the Pokemon 90 degrees on the X axis. And then click S to uh, scale the size down. And then click G, then X to grab it on the X axis. You can also just select the Pokemon so that you don't have to scale the whole rig. So let's go to the materials and go into render view so that we can see what it looks like when it's rendered and I click use nodes and then select image texture and then select the right texture so for this one it's eyes and then let's add an image texture for the uh, body and then select body a1 and then for the last one let's go to image texture once again and then select the second body texture and as you can see, we have the uh, Pokemon with textures. So let's add a plane. Click S to scale. Left click to confirm the scale. And before we add any more Pokemons, let's just make a basic scene with some basic lighting. So uh, add a new material for the floor and make it black. And then right click to select the lamp, make it into a sun, change the size to 1 and increase the strength to 7. Then click G to grab the sun and R to rotate the sun. And when you click Shift Set, you will see what it looks like in Render View. And let's just make the background almost completely white to make this in brighter as well. Okay, so let's import a second Pokemon, so DAE, and then select the folder for the 65 one, and then select the file at the bottom, then click G to grab it, and uh, click S to uh, scale it down. Now go into the materials. And before we start adding the materials for the second Pokemon, let's just uh, go up to File and click Save As, and then give it a name. You can save the file wherever you want on the computer, it doesn't really matter, and then click Enter to save. Now let's go into Reddit View and start adding the textures to the uh, Pokemon. So click Image Texture. And the reason why I show you how to add multiple Pokemons is because when you start adding uh, textures for multiple Pokemons, you will get a lot of textures in the same tab. So uh, you just have to make sure it's the right number. So uh, for this Pokemon, it's uh, Pokemon number 65, as you remember from the download and as you can see in the text for the texture. So just make sure it's the right Pokemon texture and then make sure it's the right part. So uh, go to image texture once again. And uh, this is body part number three, or C1. And then we can add the last texture. So click Use Nodes, once again Image Texture, and then its eyes. Okay, so now we have the second Pokemon. So let's import one more 
before we start rendering the uh, Pokemons. So uh, number 117. And this one is pretty large, so click S to scale it down. Click G to grab, S to scale it down once again. And um, now let's go into the materials. So uh, click Use Nodes. And then Image Texture. And I'm speeding up this part because we have done it already. So it's the same process, just image texture, and then make sure it's the right part and the right Pokemon texture. Okay, so uh, let's just go into edit mode for the floor, and then hold in shift to select multiple edges, and then click E to extrude those edges. Okay, so now we need to get into the camera, so click numpad zero to look through the camera, then click shift F to use the fly cam, and move around with W, A, S, and D. So, uh, just find the right position for the camera and then we can get into the render settings. So increase the resolution quality to 100%. If you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU and set the render samples to 200 or 300, depending on how fast your computer is. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size. If you only have a CPU, just leave them at 64. Okay, so now it's finally time to render. And before we start rendering, let's just see what it looks like in render view. And I think it looks okay. So uh, to render, just click render. And after a few minutes of rendering, this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll post a new tutorial very soon. So thanks for watching and subscribe.